There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's cracking, folks? You know who this is. By the intro alone, you know who this is. So, let me get into it. Today, I want to answer one question. And it's, uh, there's a question. Some of these, you know. Let me scoot up a little so I can be a little closer to my peeps. Crack a lot. First question to ask, why don't I focus my channel on black issues? Now, first of all, let me let me explain something to you people. Here's the problem I see with some of these folks in the black community. They don't understand the power of the internet. I don't focus my channel on any specific thing. I focus my channel on variables. You wanna know why? Because the world is a lot bigger than myself. The world is bigger than where I'm at in Columbus, Ohio. The world is bigger than the United States. The world is bigger than North America. The world is bigger than South America. You get the point of what I'm trying to say? I, let me put it to you like this. If America alone quits watching my videos, I'm still nice. And, and, and that's the problem with people. People need to tap in. How to be, I'm, I'm gonna give you some hints. I told you people, once you got me to like the 10 million views, which I'm grateful for, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you the keys to the safe. And here's another thing I try to I do. I don't market myself just to the United. I mean, there's certain about videos where I'll, I'll push to the United States. Like I said, I'm signed, by the way. And if you people don't understand that, my studio does a lot for me, although I have some issues. I ain't going to lie about that. I do have some issues, but I'm signed by a studio. And, and it's an it's, it's international studio. It's not an American studio. So that, t that should tell you something about what I'm talking about. They should tell you that, and they came to me. Let me make this clear to you folks. They came to me. I did not go looking for them. My, my idea was to sit around and just take all these offers as they were coming in and see what I could get when I left my, when I left my other contract. So they came to me, and we chopped it up, and I explained it before other videos, and I'm signed to them. And they're internationally known. They're based in Russia. So how do you think that some black guy from who was born in Crown Heights Grew up in the Pittsburgh area, lives in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. How do you think that all the people in Moscow came to him, came to him and asked him to sign up? How do you think they know about him? Because you want to know why? Because my message translates more than just to black people. My message translates to white people. My message translates to Hispanic people, to Asian people, to the red people. I don't give a fuck if you grew blue, green, or purple. My message translates to all that. See, here's the problem, like... A lot of you want to translate. You're, you got, you got, you got. You just, you're stuck on one message, and that's it. And when you go off of that message, you look uncomfortable in your videos, and you sound stupid. And that's why you got to stick to that one message. But as I told you, people, as a kid coming up, I was always in news. I was, I was, I was, I was a geek a little as far as being in the news. I was a quiet dude as far as like socially, but I was, I was always reading newspapers. I was always interested in stuff. You can ask my friends and my parents. I was interested in world things. I was interested in my local things. But the fact remains that I'm not one track mind. A lot of you guys can't talk about nothing else. That's why I won't just talk about black issues. Look, I'll tell you, here's the, and everybody goes, well, you don't talk about, look, I talk about real life issues. Let me tell you about a real life issue and where I grew up outside of Pittsburgh. Now, with the homosexual thing, it's cool to be a homosexual, but it's still bad to be in a race, in a, be in an interracial relationship. Now, now that, that's fact. Now, people are going to get mad at me for saying that, but deep down inside, you know I'm telling the truth. See, I, I, I'll talk about, I'm going to make a video talking about that. I go in on what I feel is necessary, and I expose you liars, and I just expose you deceivers for what you are. Now, that granted, I'm a, I, I do talk about things to help black people, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to bust my balls and beat, beat my head against one of these four walls to help you guys out if you don't want it. If you want the help, you come to me. I'm not gonna. I, I'm giving you. The, I'm giving you the tools for life. If you choose to use a hammer in place of a saw, that's not my fault. It's your fault for not paying attention. And then you got these crybabies. You know, they they, they they talk about they want to liberate you. Let me tell you folks something. And, and this is what you should be asking yourself. I shouldn't have to be telling you to ask yourself this. If there are dudes that can't even get out of their mom's, their sisters, their grandma's roof. If they can't liberate yourself, 
how is it going to liberate you from a nation? You should be asking yourselves this. I shouldn't have to ask. Like, you guys have no common fucking sense. If somebody's inside their mom's basement telling, talking to you about liberation, you should be asking, well, wait a minute. How are you going to liberate me when you live with somebody else? You ain't paying your own goddamn bills. That's the point where I'm trying to make this. It's like, this shit to me is ABC. And a lot of you, a lot of you guys want to be handheld. You want to be told something, oh, that's nice, it's cute. Where I, where, where I come from and who I hung out with, hung out with, I dealt with nothing but men as far as, when I, like I said, when I did my thing and I, as far as, like, interactions, I, I ran with men. I ran with men. I didn't run with women, you know, as far as, I didn't run with women leading my life, you know what I mean? Women did not have a, a women had an effect on my life, but I had a male-dominant society. That's what I was in. So it was like, I heard a lot from these guys, we don't do things like this, or they led me to this, they led me to that. I talk about real stuff, I talk, let me tell you another fact, that a lot of you, a lot of you guys are not going to like what I'm saying right now, so I don't give a shit, but it's true. A man can only lead other men. And here, and I don't care, and I will, I will not, then there's exceptions to the rule, I understand that, so don't, don't cry and whine with your little comments, well, that's hey, not on the time, get the fuck out of here. But the fact remains, a man can only lead other men. Now, if you're one of these guys that never been around men, and I, I can tell if like a guy's been, like if he's been raised by a woman, if he's been around women all his life, because you have a tendency to act like them. Any guy that's been around men can tell you this. Yeah, like, like if I see, if I find out, like I've talked to people and I'll hang out with you. But we ain't gonna be cool like as far as clutch like that because I know how you act. You act like a female. I don't have time to deal with this. And there's a lot of you so-called tough guys who were raised by your moms and who didn't want to deal with your dad and you act like your mom. And I don't have time to deal with that. I have time to deal with run, to talk to men and I, I, I will deal with dudes who want to be learn to be men. But I don't have time to deal with you soft shell Taco Bell motherfuckers. I, will, I won't deal with it. Only a man can lead other men. And I see a lot of you guys placating the women. That, should, that told me something right there about your life. You didn't have a positive male role model in your life. I had plenty of positive role models in my life. I had the old man. I had my grandfather to a point. I had, uh, I had like, the guy. I hate to say the guys in the streets were positive role models. I had older cousins that were positive role models to me. I, I just and I took from all those guys I, I, I crafted and molded and added to myself and that's that's my essence. What you don't like is what I'm spitting is facts, and you try to you guys try to like break my facts down. But at the end of the proverbial day, you can't do it. You just can't. You can try, and I'll give you. I'll tell you to try. Do it all you want. Try to break down what I say to folks. You can't look. There's one thing you can call me all. You can call me any name outside of a child of God. There's one thing you can't call me that will never stick to me, and that's a liar. And that's what you hate. And that's what I'm glad you hate. Because a lot of you guys are failures, and you're failures because you want to be failures. You want somebody to say, "Oh, feel sorry for me." Oh, we'll just give you another handout. No, fuck that. If you're a grown man and you refuse to work, you deserve to fucking die and lay in the ditch you're in right now. So, this is why I don't concentrate on black black issues only because if I have to concentrate on black issues I'm calling a lot of folks on the carpet and you can't call black folks on the carpet nowadays can you all right I'm out peace there that's it that's him <laughs>